What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a mask slide effect or whatever you guys want to call this tutorial, honestly. So be sure to leave a like, a comment down in the comment section would be nice. And be sure to turn on your post notifications whenever I put out a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to do the mask slide effect like a before and after. It's very simple and easy to do with a mask. So that right there is the effect that I'm going to be showing you guys guys it's this line right here that kind of crosses onto the other video and it shows you a before and after or a change in between those videos it's very simple to do I'm gonna go ahead and open up this uh, compound clip that I've created if you guys don't know how to do a compound clip all you gotta do is just select all of your clips right click and go to new compound clip what that does it pretty much gathers all of your videos and groups them together so you can do everything at once instead of doing them individually so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the bottom video and I'm also going to disable this audio I'm gonna go back to the other one now I'm going to go ahead and take off the stuff that I've added. So what you want to go ahead and do with this effect or to get this effect right is you want to go ahead and make a copy of the video first. So go ahead and press command C and command V. Drag that video beneath the other video that we have. This one right here we're going to be making the changes to whatever it is. Be sure that the bottom video remains the same. That It, it remains untouched. Okay, It's the raw video. So we have this video and we're gonna go ahead and add a color correction. To do that very quickly, just press Command-6 on your keyboard to bring up the color board in the color correction. Change whatever colors you want. And I'm gonna be changing the shadows right here. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. The mid-tones, I'm gonna bring down as well to kind of bring that tan, kind of orange look as well. And the highlights, I can also change, probably bring it down. And I've also made a tutorial on the teal and orange kind of effect. If you guys go back to my channel and look that up, that'd be pretty cool. But we have the shadows here. I'm going to bring that up just a tad. Bring the midtones down a little bit and increase the highlights. The exposure, I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this. I want a faded look, so I'm going to bring up the shadows to kind of fade out the blacks or make them a little bit not as dark. And then the highlights, I'm going to bring that up just a tad. So now we have a before and an after. So that is what you want. You want to change in your video, whatever it is, honestly. Color works the best. So from here, what you want to go ahead and do is drag your timeline or your time head at the beginning of the video that is on top of the one that's untouched. From there, you want to go ahead and go to the masks in the effects browser or go to the all video and audio and just look up mask. Drag the draw mask on top. And then from here, you want to go ahead and zoom out of this so you guys can see the whole thing or the whole frame. Click and hold shift to keep this line straight. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where you click here, but I kind of make some room to the left side or the right side, depending on which way you guys want it to come. It doesn't matter which way you click. Once you've done that, click on the middle of the line or the anchor points here and just drag that to the left. Okay. Make sure your time head is at the beginning of the clip. Then from there, we have the draw mask in the effects browser. Go to the control points, add a keyframe, and then go to the end of that clip. So go one frame to the left, and then drag the anchor points to the right side of that clip. So now we will have this going on, as you can see. It's moving along with what we've created on the anchor points, which is pretty nice. Now, if you guys want to make a look a little bit different or kind of cool, disable the bottom clip by pressing V on your keyboard, and this will give you this really nice effect kind of like it's appearing as it goes, which is pretty nice. And you guys can do whatever you guys want from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back to fit so we can see everything. So this is what we should have in the end. So that was very short and simple, I hope. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down what you guys wanna see next, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.